guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're gonna be talking about the new up and coming palette from Pat McGrath. Yes, she is coming out with another big mothership palette and I thought we could just have some discussion. I feel like I've been on a bit of a Pat McGrath kick lately and so, you know, I'm intrigued, but let's talk about it first. It's also going to be a dupe out portion because of course I duped this palette out. We'll get into that and I also did do this look. So check out timestamps, get to where you want to go if you don't want to watch the whole thing. But let's first just like talk about the palette. I'm going to scoot over so you can see what it is I'm talking about. So this is the Mothership 10 Moonlit Seduction. I mean, the name alone has me intrigued. It has me excited. I mean, I know what the inside looks like, but do we really? Because let's get real. Like I love the teasers. I love the fantasy, the aesthetic, just the vision that Pat McGrath has. But I will say from all of the stuff we've seen so far, the photos, the promos, all that, it's hard to tell what the fuck <laughs> this actually is gonna look like in person. So she had a couple different teasers and then the main picture, if we wanna just look at like kind of the promo one is this one here. And first let's talk about packaging. I love the packaging. I love these faces Pat McGrath does. I almost wish these were posters. Like they are beautiful. They are so, so pretty. I, I genuinely adore them. I wish so badly, honestly, that the outer packaging of the actual product had this beautiful ornate design to it. I get the chicness and the classicness that is that black lacquered palette, which I have only one of the motherships, but I do have bronze seduction. And I mean, how amazing would this be if the outside of that was like on here somehow or some version of it? Not only would it just be stunning as its own piece, if it still was the same quality and everything, I mean, it would be stunning, but also it would be nice to be able to tell them apart if you are a big collector or you have multiple palettes. When they're like this, they literally all just look the same. And for me personally, I'm I'm so inspired by the vision. I'm so inspired by the packaging. I would get re-inspired by just seeing that packaging on the product, honestly, but the palettes kind of conceal that with their black lacquered look and you know the uniformity of it. Although that's its own positive in its own right. If we're really gonna get into packaging, which we won't, we'll move on <laughs> from that point, I promise. Anyway, looking at the color story here, in this picture, it kind of looks boring. It looks a little washed out. It looks neutral. Of course, we have these kind of rosy mauvey browns that Pat McGrath loves. She loves like a rosy brown neutral. And we seem to have two of them in here. Now they don't look nearly as Rosie in this picture, but when we look at other things we've seen, which I don't have tons of good screenshots, I'll, I'll try to put up some stuff as I'm talking so you can see the differences between what you know, is kind of being shown. But when we look at the inside here, some of these sparkles on the back end of the palette look amazing. They look like those special like Blitz Astral shades that she does, which are some of the best like sparkly, beautiful eyeshadows out there. I mean, indie brands do them a lot more often if that's like all you're after, I'm telling you. <laughs> there are lots of indie brands that do it. But when we're talking about things at Sephora, they definitely are standout shades for sure. And they're beautiful. So of course, I'm very excited <laughs> for those. I think they look stunning and I actually don't mind the neutrals in here either when we take a look at just the swatches This is where we can really see some of that texture coming out some of that shine coming out And this is this to me these swatches sell the palette for me I am on the fence on wanting this because one it's neutral and I do like the neutrals I like the rosy tones. I don't have a lot of Pat McGrath palettes So it's not like it would be overly 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 redundant in my collection in terms of her palette specifically and it looks so good I mean we have we have some basic things in here with like that kind of golden highlight shade How many of those do we need? We have like a bronzy gold in here that doesn't even look that like in terms of special shades It's just like one of the metallics, you know, how many times have we seen that we have those rosy colors Which even if we look at the Bridgerton palettes that came out both of those had those those rosy tones And I'm not saying they're exact but my gosh, they're pretty close We also have seen that with the divine rose palette Palettes. I mean, it seems like a lot of the last few releases have been like that. So I definitely can see there being some overlap here, but because I don't have that massive Pat McGrath collection, I'm actually kind of intrigued by this. There's a color in here also that kind of leans a little bit 
cooler um, kind of that taupey shade you guys know I've been loving it almost looks like it has a, a gold shine to it though so I'm interested to see what this looks like I mentioned this in a more recent video but you know Pat McGrath is swatches and all of that they look phenomenal but what you actually get sometimes doesn't match up it you know it can be a total different thing so I wonder what the, this palette actually will look like in person like actually having it in my hands how will it look yeah so I'm on the fence I decided to dupe it out so that was one of the reasons I was like well let's just try to dupe it out like let's explore this color story at least my idea of the color story based off of you know the few photos that are online and and see what I have and just kind of go from there but before I do that I thought I would just share with you a few of the eyeshadow palettes that I do have from Pat McGrath so like I said I have bronze seduction I've had such a like wild roller coaster of love uh, <laughs> with this palette I really do like those special shades in here I mean even this one looks like one of the special shades I feel like in the palette we're talking about like kind of similar like this pink color so this is the only mothership that I have the most recent palette I picked up actually was a quad this one took me a while to pick up but it is the Venus in Fleurs it's pretty much like my favorite Pat McGrath eyeshadow product that I own. It's stunning and look what we have here. <laughs> I'm pretty, is this color in the new one? I'm pretty sure. Very similar. We also have this beautiful special duochrome that's kind of this golden orange with a bit of a green and pink in there. Maybe not the most unique if you know multi-chromes. It's not absolutely unique but stunning nonetheless and I love this quad. I think it works for every day. You can dress it up. You can kind of keep it chill. Love 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 this and even something like this you know we see these shades a lot from her. The one in the palette, the Moonlit Seduction, looks a little bit more golden than that one, but still. The last thing that I have from her in terms of eyeshadows is the Holiday Palette that came out last holiday. These palettes come out around November, October, I don't even know, holiday starts so early, honestly. Um, but they are actually not the normal mothership prices, but obviously tons of eyeshadows in here. And so I didn't wanna miss out on this year's. I didn't pick up the year before, but um, this one, there's something about it. It was so festive and I wanted to give it a go. Really love this, but again, we are seeing a lot of those same <laughs> kind of rosy mattes that she does. Like they're kind of brown, they're kind of rosy and everything kind of in between. And um, again, I love those colors, I really do. But Pat likes them more, okay? <laughs> she loves them. And there's a part of me that kind of understands it in the sense that, you know, I think these are the colors that speak to her and that she likes to use in a lot of eye looks. And so I think that's just what inspires her. I think it's pretty true to her. At this point, it has to be, right? But I don't know, I kind of like this one and I'm, on the fence of whether I'm gonna get it. So I might, I don't know, it's just $125 is quite a bit of money, obviously. And I'm not gonna lie, like I really do like the quad format. Even this quad is quite large for four eyeshadows. Whereas I've already kind of talked about some of my qualms with the bigger motherships and they're kind of bulky. There's only 10 shades in there. You'd think that, you know, it's a whole big thing. There's just 10. So yeah, I'm on the fence. Let me know. I mean, of course, if you guys really wanna see reviews, which I'm sure like I'd wanna see what they actually look like and swatch and all that um so that's kind of partially me being like oh maybe I'll pick it up so we all can kind of know what's going on with it but anyway let me know if you want to see that video if you're interested any of that stuff of course I want to hear your thoughts but let's get into my version now this wasn't too I mean it didn't take me too long to come up with this of course I took some of my own liberties um and it was definitely difficult based off of online to figure out what the heck is going on but I did my best to kind of look between the photo of the palette swatches of the palette I also had this photo like a screenshot I took from Instagram where it's kind of showing um, all the textures up close so I'll put that here but um, I kind of tried to use that even but with that I also just took some liberties and went with things that I felt like went with the vision I guess even if the color wasn't exactly right maybe the texture was or the feeling of it whatever it is so let's just get into this I'll give you guys a close-up of the palette I think that it's pretty dang good I had quite a few shadows I was going between I even had a little bit of a leftover bonus palette essentially, but we don't need to get into all that It's not that big of a deal I really wanted to create this palette for myself to just do it like it's a fun exercise and depending on you at home It might be something that's like able to give you the experience in a way of the new palette without having to actually buy it Although I'm not sure if you actually bought all these how much cheaper it would be than the palette That's not like the point. But anyway, let me tell you what I picked out individually first off I picked up one of the glam 
Gem Shop shadows. This one's in the shade Firefly, and it's just this beautiful, soft champagne gold shade. This, you could put anything you wanted, any, any color like this that you wanted, whether you wanted something that's more of a satin or really metallic or sparkly. Like, I feel like if you're making your own palette at home, obviously you can change up the texture to whatever you want. This one is a finer shimmer that is a little bit um, see-through. I think this would actually be a beautiful formula for a highlighter on the cheekbone. I think it'd look stunning, but I definitely wanted something like that that I would use on the inner corner and brow bone of my looks. I always use a shade like this, so I went with Firefly and I think it works really nicely here, but again, so many colors that you have in palettes, maybe as singles would probably work. Next in here for that kind of rosy brown thing going on, this just happens to be a shade from Luxy called Sultry, but there are again, quite a few out there, especially if you like these rosy tones, which I really do. This one I actually think is a pretty damn good, probably dupe of whatever's in there or even of other just Pat McGrath um, palettes that have a similar color to this. I'm sure this matches one of them like perfectly. <laughs> and it's nice, I love these colors. I will say, you know, as much as it can get repetitive to see them over and over in the palettes, I get it in that I do like those colors a lot. And I feel like even more recently, I can't get enough of the kind of rosy brown along with that like kind of minky brown taupe thing. Like those are the colors I've been loving. So I kind of get it. This next shade was really difficult for me to find. I had a few shades I worked with. One of them that I didn't pick because it was a little too green was, I think it's called Harvest Gathering or Peach Harvest. I don't know. It's from Sydney Grace. It was like limited edition. So it kind of doesn't matter anyway, but um, that one was too green. I went with just a classic in my collection. This one is Cold Smoke from Glam Shop. This has that kind of taupey silver thing going on. This one has a bit of a sheer base to it. So I don't feel like it swatches exactly how the one looks in the swatches, definitely not. But I didn't have anything that kind of had that weird cool yet warm. Like I'm telling you that shade looks silverish, but then also kind of goldish. And I just didn't have a single quite exactly like that, at least again, trying to mimic what was in the pictures. But I felt like this does me well, like when I'm thinking of myself for the palette, since I have that control in the one I'm creating, I thought this one would be good. Next on the top row, this is one of the more special shades, I'm assuming. I mean, there's not a ton out on the palette yet, but the color looks very much like a blue, brown, red based duochrome type thing like something we've kind of seen before but is so beautiful nonetheless like uh, some of my favorite shades like I'm a sucker for so I went with another glam shop <laughs> um, these turbo pigments that they have the shadows are so good this is called Vegas bis bis I don't know and this has the kind of blue um, almost like gray leaning blue that also has a bit of almost green like a teal going on with that red pink base there's like purple happening between the shifts. Absolutely stunning. It's textured. It is really sparkly and I feel like it not only gives a very similar color, but also has the same texture. So I felt like that was a really good one to put in there. And last for the first row, this one I put in for the gold that's in there. It's hard to tell exactly what that gold is going to look like swatched out and whatnot. I'm assuming it has a lot of shine and sparkle. So I really let that kind of dictate what I picked for there. And so I went with this newer shadow to me. This is from from Shine by SD. I will be having a video on these by this month for sure. It's just taken a little longer with everything in my life. But this is a beautiful like yellow gold with a green shift. There's some orange in there. It has a bit of a red base. It's a little bit sheer, but you could build it up if you want. Just stunning. Like it's like a multi-chrome, but it doesn't have that foiled look. Instead, it's more PC and sparkly. And I would say overall, this shines like a green gold. Um, and so I thought that was like perfect. It's definitely going to give that gold shine, but it has more going on. The first shade on the bottom row, this, I just picked Enigma from AOA. This is literally a dollar shadow, a $1 shadow from Shop Miss A. Um, I don't know if they still have this, but it's just a taupey kind of brown, you know? And you look at it in one way and you're like, is it gray or is it brown? I'm not sure. I thought this worked really well. I just wanted something pretty deep. I feel like that's like an anchor to this palette is this color in the palette. So I just mimicked that the best I could. Next, we have that kind of bronzy gold classic color from Pat McGrath. This goes hand in hand with those rosy pink uh, brown shades. I went with one from Glam Shop. This, I just kept it simple like how it was. I almost did something kind of rose gold. I kind of thought about switching it up, but I have so many textured shades in here that I went with just more of a standard metallic. Like I was like, okay, yeah, sometimes it's nice to have a, a mix of textures instead of only high shine sparkles, you know, so. 
I just kept that pretty plain, simple, whatever. Then we're coming to the deeper of the rosy, mauve -y kind of red pink shades. Again, it's hard to tell uh, where this exactly goes. Does it go more brown? Does it go more purple? And in swatches, again, it's kind of difficult. I felt like the closest thing I had was Going Steady from ColourPop. This is a pretty old shadow. I doubt you can get it anymore. But this looks a little purple. Like I even seeing it here, I'm like, ah, oh, is it too purple? But when I look at the swatches, I'm like, ah, it's kind of, it's close, you know, it's close. So maybe a little bit too colorful, honestly, for the palette. Maybe the one in there isn't quite as punchy in the purples, but that's what I went with. The last two shades, I'm assuming again, are more of those special ones. I went with another glam shop shadow this is goddess I mean if you watch my duping videos you probably hear a lot of these shades over and over there is something when you really want to get down to it if something you're really desiring is a very curated collection single shadows really do offer so much because <laughs> I see how many times I use goddess and firefly and all that to dupe out these kind of champagne -y colors these champagne pinks champagne golds like they're everywhere um <laughs> anyway tangent but uh this ugh, it went, I went back and forth on a few different colors I I don't know what this color is. It's so difficult to tell from swatches. It looks like it's gonna be something that's a little bit like almost like a ballet pink slipper, like the shine on it, all that. It's just like a special ballet pink slipper shade. I wish I had something I feel like more similar in a single shadow, but everything I have either has a flash of something more intensely pink. It just, nothing seemed right, okay? So I went with the goddess one. This is similar to Firefly in the texture, but this has gold and pink sparkle to it which gives it this really delicate and soft effect which again it's kind of what I was like feeling from that shadow from the swatches but as I was saying earlier I really do feel like this shadow in here is similar like it seems similar to that ballet pink. This one has a little more bronze maybe in it. It's a little more on the rose gold side than like, I don't know. Yeah, the ballet pink. That's what I'm gonna call it because my God, it's like perfect name. This has a little bit more maybe bronze to it. Maybe something between the two would be absolutely perfect, but that's what I went with. Again, we're doing the best we can. And then last, it looks kind of purple and um, all the swatches have it looking almost more pink, like a pinky purple in the swatches in the overview picture of the palette. It's hard to tell what it is and then when I look at that one with like the close-up it looks the most lavender kind of just in comparison I feel like you can really see it stand out there um so I took that to the next level and I put this shine by SD shadow in this is called takeover it's from the fantasy collection this thing is absolutely insane if we're talking about special shades there's no comparison this I feel like you're looking at the universe in front of you when you see this shadow it is so beautiful it's purple it's blue it's it's green, it's gold, it's pink, it's orange. It's like every color is here. The universe in a grain of sand or in a speck of this eyeshadow, honestly. It's stunning. And I just thought, you know what? Fuck it. I'm putting that in too. It's my palette. I can do whatever I want. I just swatched it like literally over some stuff, but you can see that overall, like straight on, you do see kind of more of that purple pink thing, but I'm telling you, it will literally go like green and orange and golden. So um, yeah, that's my palette. I think that it's beautiful. I definitely think as an overall thing, like when we're not looking at it individually, I do think it kind of gives the vibes, but again, it's so hard to tell with these first promo pictures. I am excited. I want to see it in person. I don't know if I'm just going to order it, see it in person, do the video type thing or if I'm gonna wait around and get it a little later I don't know what to do um, but I'm definitely keeping my eye out for more videos and teasers and things as the drop gets closer although how accurate those are gonna be I'm not sure I'm really not sure because I feel like uh, with some of the blushes it's been like that other eyeshadow palettes it's been like that so we'll see but I would love to hear your guys' thoughts are you interested in this palette or not like what do you think about it I love these kind of luxurious neutrals like in the vein of neutral that she does and I feel like I'm more on board with that more than ever or that I have been in the past so there's that but I mean she has some room to do something green and even like full-on purple and like you know I feel like she has some other colors to explore I can't wait to see her takes on those I think that's what everyone is is like we know you love these we can't wait to see your takes on other stuff so um yeah let me know your thoughts but uh other than that let's get into this eye look if you want to see how I did it just keep watching all right guys, let's get started on the eye look. I don't exactly know what I wanna do starting off. Let's just get a transition down or like some type of base. I do wanna go maybe a little bit 
you know, darker or just a little bit more, you know, than maybe normal. I don't know, we're, we're gonna see what goes on. I'm just gonna take a fluffy blending brush and dip into the shade Sultry from Luxy. But really any of these kind of mauve, it's like a mauve brown. And I'm just putting that in my entire crease, like in the front and in the back of my eye, <laughs> like the full crease. I think it's kind of bright, so I'm gonna turn that down a little. I'm taking a smaller blending brush now, and I'm gonna go into that same shade, and I'm just really working that on the outer corner. Just kind of deepening that up, just building it out a bit. I'm really into this color for some reason. Obviously, this would be so pretty, but I don't know if that's what I wanna wear today because I've, I've worn those colors so much. I kinda wanna play around with this one from Shine as well. Both of these are the Shine ones, they're both new. And they both kind of have a green kind of gold. I mean, this has that purple also. Kinda wanna do like maybe a halo eye. I haven't done one of those in a while. So I'm gonna bring some of that same, the same color. We haven't reached in anything else. I'm gonna put it on the inner corner and start building that out a bit. I think that will be pretty. Yeah, that's the look. Okay, now I'm gonna start working with the darker shade in here and I'm gonna put that, that kind of taupey gray brown also in the inner and outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit more. It's also gonna make it a little more neutral. I mean, I still don't want this to be too structured even though we're doing this kind of effect. I still want it kind of smoky, sultry, like that vibe. I'm like loving the way this is looking. I think that this would look good just like on its own almost. I don't know, I really like how it's turning out. And then I'm just gonna blend everything with the brush I was using before, the smaller one. Okay, now I'm gonna go in first with this kind of golden shade. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna drop it and break it. JK, it's not broken, but almost. I'm gonna put that and just dab that with my finger in the center and then tap out and see kind of where that gets me. I'm not using any other kind of base right now. You could definitely do that. I tap in the center, but kind of just up and over. I'm not really worried about going over the gray because we're gonna tap over with the gray to kind of even everything out. Like I said, I'm just tapping some of that darker shade back over what we laid down, just on the edges. And again, I'm just tapping. So no real blending to help actually blend it. The tapping is the blending. I think that's looking pretty good. I, I don't wanna get too worked up over how even it is or not. I don't, I want it to still be kind of chill. I'm taking the, the purple shade, which is just absolutely spectacular, and I'm gonna tap that over top of everything. I'm keeping it very close to the actual middle, and it's very light. I'm not even doing something too intense. I just think, why not? And if you wanted full opacity with these, it would be best to use like a glitter glue, but I kind of like that kind of undone, a little bit grungy look. Like, I just like that. I don't mind. It almost looks like there's fireworks on my eyes. I love it. I feel like one of the last things to do, I'm gonna use the kind of gold in here as a highlighter on my brow bone. <laughs> For my under eye, I'm gonna take that first shade, we were using that first matte color. All right, I'm gonna add some liner and mascara. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna tight line a little bit. And lately I've actually even been putting a little bit of this on my inner waterline, which I normally don't do, but just in the outer corner, I do it. 
And then mascara. All right, guys, so here is the final look. I do really like it. I feel like it kind of has that mix of being chill, but you know, more done up. I did not put mascara on my bottom lashes. I just haven't been loving that look lately. I probably could even add a bit more brightness to that inner corner, but I like it. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think it gives the vibes of whatever that palette's gonna give because it has some of those like, you know, shifty moments going on, like those special shades. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the look. All right, guys, I think that's everything I have to say about the palette, the eye look that I did. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts. Are you gonna pick this palette up or not? What do you think of it? Like, are you excited? Do you think it's repetitive? Do you think it's kind of boring? Let me know down below. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.